Good morning. I want to take an opportunity and welcome all of you here today for a very, very special ceremony that we have done here for the last few years. Um, and it, what I'd like to make sure happens for everyone in our audience, our student body, is I want to make sure that your earbuds are out of your ears and the fact that your phones are silenced and they're put away. There's a reason why that I want to make sure that we as an entire school community can ensure the fact that we're giving the respect that is deserved to the members of the armed forces that are sitting uh, with us today. And it's imperative the fact that your attention today and your celebration today of our alum that are heading off to serve our country is in full form. So this morning, um, it is with great pleasure that we begin our annual Flag Day ceremony, albeit a few days early, but also the continuation of our honor roll. Starting with the class of 2016, that we began a journey as that you walk in our front foyer of our high school is our honor roll. And on that wall are every, is every alumni who has made a commitment to join, our, to join the armed forces to serve our country. Their senior photo from the future signing day is placed on that wall. And that when their students, when the alum return back from boot camp, we place their military photo on the wall with it. And it will stay on the wall during their first four years of service. Um, and that is a vision that will be carried even into the new high school as well. So we want to welcome the members of the class of 2019 that could join us today. We have seven graduates who are being recognized today, and we know we have five that are here and a potential six that could be joining us a little bit late this morning. But to begin, as a welcome, the importance of Flag Day. The Flag Day it commemorates the adoption of the U.S. flag from June 14, 1777, by a resolution of the Second Continental Congress. And since then, each and every year after that, it is a celebration in our country of the American flag. And we want to make sure that we honor that at the same time. As I'm going to be introducing members of the platform today, I do want to give a special welcome and a thanks for being here today, our town manager, Mr. Bob Nunes. So thank you for being here this morning. And if you would join me in a round of applause to a man who's been a wonderful support of our high school for so long, and it's been a great, um, it's been an unbelievable pleasure working with him over the last many years, the representative of the Middleborough Veterans Council, if you give a nice round of applause, please, for Paul Preventure. audience can tell me how many wars were fought under the, 50 star, uh, the 48 stars that we had before 1959. Any idea? The answer is three. World War I, World War II, and the Korean War. And by the time we got to the Vietnam War, we were up to 50 stars and we've been there ever since. What we're going to do is we're going to present to you the service flags for each one of the services in the order that they originated. So I'd like everyone to stand and uncover. All right, the first flag, the first flag we'll be presenting will be the Army flag. I'm sorry, the POW flag, the POW flag. That's presented by Mary Standish. The next flag will be presented is the Army flag. The next flag will be the United States Marine Corps. The next flag will be the United States Navy.
The next flag will be the United States Air Force. The next flag will be the United States Coast Guard. Back during World War II, they federalized the merchant marines and they were in support of the uh, efforts around the world. So the last flag we'd like to present is the merchant marine flag. And that concludes our presentation of the flags for the branches of service. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Provincial. If you would please rise again as we will begin the ceremony with our introducing our senior class president, Ms. Carissa Chain, to lead us in the Pledge to the Flag. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you could all please remain standing. Thank you. Krista, thank you so very much. It is with great pride to introduce to you the Middleborough High School Concert Choir under the direction of Mr. Patrick Converse to lead us in the national anthem. Please be seated. To the concert choir, thank you so very much. And before moving any forward in our program, I do want to thank the Middleborough High School Orchestra under the direction of Mr. Pitsley to um, lead us in the prelude of the beautiful music that was shared. So thank you so much to the orchestra for that good day. To our members of the class of 2019, we welcome you to be here today for your very special ceremony as today you will be taking your place on the Middleborough High School Wall of Honor. 
So all of the um, comments and remarks that will be made today is really just we hope to let you know how proud we are of you for taking the step that you're about to take to serve our country and our community and how proud we are of that. So our first person I would like to introduce from our platform this morning is um, really just a wonderful supporter of our school and we wouldn't be able to do all the great things we could do without him. Um, would you please give a nice warm welcome to your superintendent of Middlebar Public Schools, Mr. Brian Lynch. Thank you, Mr. Brannigan. Good morning to faculty, staff, and guests, especially members of our armed services, past, present, and future. When I think about soldiers, I think about sacrifice, and I think about honor. The sacrifice and honor officially began with a shot heard around the world. This shot was a muzzle blast fired just about an hour north of here in Lexington Green on the 18th of April in 1775. The poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow wrote of that April morning, listen my children and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere. Towards the 18th of April in 75, hardly a man is still alive who remembers that famous day and year. That was the shot that began the American Revolution. <clears throat> in fact, two months later, on this very date, in 1775, June 12, the English government, under the reign of King George III, issued a general commander proclamation by British Army General Gage. And it basically said, lay down your arms and we'll forgive you. Put down your guns, remain English colonists, don't be a traitor. And they didn't. They stood up. They remained strong. They held their arms. They fought against tyranny. They fought against taxation without representation and we, picked, we became America. And since then, generations and generations and generations of American soldiers have not stood down. They've stood up and they've fought, soldiers and sailors alike. They've fought for America, they've fought for America's freedom, and we're very thankful for all those sacrifices throughout the years. If they hadn't done it, would still be a British colony. They changed history, and every generation of soldier has changed history. Soldiers and sailors fought to keep this country free. They have sacrificed now, and now we have members of the class of 2019 who are sacrificing also in defense of this great nation. They will take a vow, if they haven't already, to protect and defend the United States of America from all enemies, foreign and domestic. And for that, we remain eternally grateful. This morning, we all say thank you, and we are honored at your willingness to serve. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Lynch. Next to give greetings to our student body and particularly our graduates is a man who had his voice about our schools is, is powerful and it is so thank we're so thankful for the work he does on behalf of not only our school and our students, but the students throughout the entire community. The chairman of the Middleborough School Committee, Mr. Richard Young. Thank you, everybody. It's an honor to be here. Um, what I wanted to tell you first and foremost, especially for members of this student body, um, when Paul asked me to speak, I did a little research. And I'm saddened to tell you that only 30% of the schools in the United States honor students going into the military in some way. Most of them honor them at graduation and don't have a ceremony like this. So Mr. Brannigan should be very proud of what he does and we should be proud of him for that. So I do want to thank Paul for that. I get to stand up here tonight and thank you on behalf of the school committee and the town as a whole. Uh, but for me, this is a very personal piece for a variety of reasons. The first being, this is the journey my dad took. My dad left high school and entered the Navy. And it took him all over the world. And he loved every minute of it. His last duty, was in Newport. Um, he worked as a cryptographer. His last duty was with President Eisenhower as a cryptographer in the summer White House. And so it took him to fantastic heights. It's also personal for me because I know many of you. You graduated a couple of weeks ago with my son. And I feel like I watched you grow up. 
Uh, and so I'm very, very honored to stand here. I'm very honored to let you know how proud we are of you. And more importantly, as Mr. Brannigan pointed out, that, that your pictures will be in the entrance of the high school. So as anybody walks in, the first thing they'll see about the high school is your commitment to honor and duty. So we thank you for that. And please know that every time I walk through there, I'll always be thinking of you and hopefully you're safe and out of harm's way. So again, I wanna thank each and every one of you for your service and more importantly, for getting to know you over the past few years. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Young. As part of our ceremony, um, it is, we're just so thankful that the Middlebar's veteran agent could be joining us today. Um, in his work is so important in our community of working with the many, many veterans who live in our community. So if you give a warm welcome, please, to Mr. Jason Cox, the Middleborough Veterans Agent, U.S. Marine Corps. Good morning, and thank you for having me here today. I did have a prepared speech, but I decided to go in a different direction this morning. Um, as I was a high school graduate in 2002, coming out of East Bridgewater High School, uh, I had it in my head many years prior that I was gonna join the military. Uh, I didn't have a specifics on joining the Marine Corps, but that just, that's another story for another day. And um, it's just something that I felt that I was just to do. It's just, it was just the right thing to do. Uh, my father was in the Navy, my grandfather, my father before him was in the Army, and same with my other grandfather. Um, every Every male in my family was, it's just what we did as a family is we, we joined the military and I wanted to continue that tradition and I wanted to serve my country honorably and I wanted to make the sacrifice that, you know, to be honest, that some people don't make. And I, I, I am truly proud of the young men sitting on the front row right there that dedicated their lives, dedicated themselves to the greater good of our nation and it's really something to, it's really something to say about their character. Um, and joining the military is, is it, it, it opens a lot of doors for a lot of individuals that may not be open. And uh, I, would, I would hope that the majority of the men and women in this audience today would take serious consideration in joining our military to, to, for the greater good of the, of the United States. And so, Thank you for your dedication, and thank you for having me here today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Cox. We have a, a special guest with us today, and part of the ceremony each and every year is that we try to have uh, somebody come in who will really serve as our guest speaker, who can share with you some words of wisdom about their own journey, and also the importance of serving, and just serving your community in general at the same time. But it is really exciting today because the person who has so kindly um, you know, said he would come is somebody who walked the halls with you not too long ago. Um, he was a student body president here. He was an unbelievable student leader and athlete. And um, he made a decision during the beginning of senior year that he was going to go off and serve our country. And it is with great pride and great honor to introduce to you Sergeant Tyler Kaplinger, class of 2014, from the 82nd Airborne Division of the United States Army. All right, real quick. Um, so yeah, like Mr. Brangan said, I graduated here in 2014. I left right after graduation. I went and did five years in the Army. I was in the infantry. I just wanna share a couple things with you guys sitting up front. You wanna be successful? Be in the right place, right time, right uniform. That's all you gotta do, all right? You're doing something that less than 1% of this country does, which is assigned to serve. That's incredible. You should be proud of yourselves. Your family should be proud of you. You should be proud of your parents for raising you to do something greater than yourself. It's incredible what you guys are doing. I'll always give it to you straight. You wanna ask me any questions afterwards, I'd be more than willing to answer them. Middle bar will always have your back. I came home from Iraq. I called Mr. Brannigan and he scheduled a fundraiser for me and some of my family, my adopted family in the army. All right, Middleborough is one school that takes care of their own. They schedule this, this uh, ceremony here in the uh, auditorium. 
Nobody else does that. That's incredible. Be proud of yourselves. Just remember, right place, right time, right uniform, you will be successful. I promise you. If you have any questions, you can meet me after this, and I'll answer them for you. All right, thank you. Tyler, thank you so much for being here today and for your service. Um, at this time, I would like to put our attention up towards the back pond in the Middleborough High School Band under the direction of Mr. Justin Pitsley for a musical selection. Thank you so much, Mr. Pitsley and the Middlebar High School Band. At this time, we would like to officially begin the recognition ceremony of our graduates. And I would like to ask our members of our platform, if you could make your way over towards the stake flag, please, that you would be able to um, give greetings and congratulations. Mr. Lynch, if you would make your way to the presentation table, please, to be able to hand our graduates their photograph. So on the table for our families that were here, on May 17th, we hosted our National College and Future Signing Day. And when you leave our auditorium right to the right, you will see the, most of the entire senior class on the wall with their next step. The students that are here on this table are going to be taking their place on our honor wall. So when this ceremony is all over, we will invite all the families out to the foyer and our graduates will place their photographs on that wall. What I would also like to do, if it would be so great for joining us and on the platform, is that for any member of the faculty and staff who served in the United States military, if you could please come down to the stage. Mr. Soro and Dr. Gates and Mr. Katina, we would be honored if you would join our platform on this side of the stage to congratulate our graduates. For our graduates, what I'm going to ask you to do is that when you come up to the stage, like in most of our ceremonies, you're going to enter this side of the stage. So that way that you can have your moment, you'll be able to give get your congratulations and, and well wishes. And then I know that Sean is going to be taking a photograph of you standing at in front of the table. All right? So um, our first person who is not here today, but I want to make sure we're recognizing him, Mr. Drew Bouchain, who's heading off to the United States Army. So congratulations to you, Drew. Mr. Travis Colby, if you could please join us on stage.
Travis um, began his journey of preparing for his next chapter of life. Travis, you want to stay there for one second, if you would? It's all right, we're not done. Um, that Travis made a decision very early on that he knew he wanted to serve our country. And I vividly remember a member of the armed forces, an investigator came in to do a whole interview because of special clearance that you were receiving and what an honor it was to do that. Um, Travis is heading off to the United States Air National Guard and we couldn't be prouder of you and what you're about to do. So thank you for your service. Thank you, Travis. Thank you, Travis. If Lucas Coleman, if you could join us on stage. <laughs> Lucas Coleman. Lucas, we, the very first time I met Lucas was at the Welcome Back Barbecue and when he was coming into the ninth grade. Um, and that from that point on, that the journey he has had has been really quite good. You gave us a run for our money, we know that. But one of the things that I think is most incredible is, is the fact that when you decided to, to enter the US military, that it became a shift in you to say you now had drive and a vision of what you wanted and we couldn't be prouder of you. And Lucas, you were heading off to the United States Marines and we wish you well and we're so very proud of you. So we're excited to have your picture on the wall. Our next senior and graduate, um, Ismail Hernandez, if you could please join us. <laughs> Ismail, we could not be prouder of you and knowing the fact that you were about to begin a journey in the fall of serving our great nation, um, we just could not be prouder of your commitment to doing that. And we know the fact that when you start your next chapter of life, it is gonna take you in an awful lot of places and we're excited to see where it takes you. So congratulations to you. <laughs> oh. And I forgot to mention, how dare, that Ishmael is heading off to serve our country in the United States Marine Corps. So Ishmael, congratulations and a thank you to you. Mr. Ryan Perry. Ryan Perry has had one heck of a, of a journey here at the high school. From his involvement in athletics to leadership and everything in between, he was Mr. MHS, what didn't Ryan Perry do? Um, but I think where it became a pivotal change for him is when he made the commitment to his future. And knowing the fact that, that Ryan is also committed to the University of Maine, that it really became something that he is putting on the back burner for a period of time, because he knows the fact that this is an opportunity for him to take it here and now take it into the next chapter of his life. And we're so proud of you, Ryan, for the work you're about to do in serving our country. And Ryan is heading off to serve in the United States Army Reserves. So um, congratulations to you, Ryan. And just to give recognition, I know that he was going to try to get here and the family was, but I don't see them. So, but I just wanna make sure there is recognition. Our, our sixth graduate that is heading off to serve our nation is Sam Rando, and he is gonna be um, serving in the United States Army Reserve. So a nice round of applause for Sam and we wish him well. <laughs> Mr. Connor Wolf, if you could join us on stage. We 
we could not be prouder of Connor. And I had said to him, Connor, hold on for one second. When Connor, um, I remember making this comment to him towards the end of senior year that I think I, how proud we were that he came back to Middleborough because he ended up going to another high school for a period of time and we were just so excited when he came back. And really, Connor, just the journey you have had here and the young man you've become. And I think one of the coolest things was watching you put your um, sash over your graduation gown of really knowing the fact that your future is intact and you know exactly where you want to go. So we're just so proud of you. We wish you well. And Connor is heading off to serve in the United States Navy. And just congratulations to you, Connor. And so to our five alum that are here, and of course to Drew and to Sam, um, as a high school, we're gonna be watching you from afar and knowing the fact that every day when we walk into the building for any guests and any parent who ever walks into our school, that as to, Mitch, to Mr. Young's point earlier, that the very first thing they will see is you. So um, we wish you well in your journey and um, just congratulations, we're very proud of you. And to all of our um, special guests here on stage and to our faculty, thank you for your service and thank you for being up here today. And as we begin to close our ceremony for this morning, um, I would like to introduce back up, up, to, up to the podium, Mr. Paul Pavincher, as he will lead and explain to you the official flag folding ceremony. Tyler, one of the things you forgot to mention about uh, being in the military, when you're going through basic, do not volunteer, right? Yeah. We learned that real quick. Anyway, today we'll be doing the flag folding ceremony and uh, that'll be done by uh, Mary Standish and uh, Dave Singer. The flag folding ceremony of the flag of the United States speaks to the principles on which our country was originally founded. The Canton field, the blue portion of the flag denotes honor, and the stars within, within it represent the states that have provided the men and women who have served our country. The Canton field of blue dresses from left to right, and the flag is only inverted when draped as a pall on the casket of a veteran who has served the country honorably. In the armed forces, of the United States at sunset, the bugle sounds retreat, the flag is lowered, folded into a triangle, and kept under um, thorough watch throughout the night as a tribute to our nation's honored dead. The next morning it is brought out and the bugle sounds called to colors and it is risen or rises again over the post. The first flag, I mean the first fold, is a symbol of our belief in our nation's motto, in God we trust. The second fold is a symbol of our devotion to the United States of America. The third fold is in honor of and remembrance of the veterans who have departed our ranks. The fourth fold represents our reliance on God for guidance and strength. The fifth fold is a tribute to freedom and all that it means to us. The sixth fold represents our patriotism as we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. The seventh fold is a tribute to all our armed forces, for it is the armed forces who protect our flag and our country against all her enemies. The eighth fold is made in honor of mothers whose faith, love, loyalty, and devotion have shaped the character of the men and women who have made our country great. The ninth fold is made in honor of fathers who gave their sons and daughters for the defense of our country. The tenth fold is a tribute to American families everywhere 
Our strength is built on their strength. The eleventh fold is a symbol of our belief in equality and justice for all. The twelfth fold is a tribute to unity and uniting the many states, the many cultures, and the country with common goals and ideals. The thirteenth fold is a tribute to our 13 original colonies for which these, this country be, began. After the flag is full, completely folded and the ends tucked in, its triangle shape reminds us of the cocked hat worn by George Washington and the soldiers who served under him to establish and preserve for us the rights, privileges, and freedoms we enjoy today. And that concludes the flag folding ceremony. Thank you very much. Just before we close, thank you, Paul, so very much. I just would like, I think it's um, so important to our, for our school community to make sure we're thanking the Men of Our Veterans Honor Guard for being here today and for your service to our country as well. Thank you so much. To our school community, we thank you for your participation today and for your attentiveness and respect. Um, once again, when we as a school community come together, the great things that we accomplish. And to our graduates, um, we hope that as a school, we're gonna continue to make you proud, but we are going to make us even prouder. So we're gonna ask for our... So I do, we did this Memorial Day but if it's okay with all of you, I'd like to do this again today. On Memorial Day, the superintendent and I were fortunate enough to award Mr. Pitsley, who's a 99-year-old veteran of World War II, the first high school diploma in the class of 2019. So if you don't mind in joining me, the superintendent and I are gonna redo that because if you remember that ceremony, all the pictures were taken from the bucket truck and they came out lousy. So we do wanna take one with Mr. Uh, Pitsley, and we do want to honor him as being our first graduate of As, as we honor Russell Pitsley for his uh, graduation from high school, back in 2005, the state of Massachusetts, un, Massachusetts under the Mass Department of Veterans Services passed a welcome home bill. And as part of that, they said, we want to honor those men and women who dropped out of school in order to go into the military during a wartime period. And so that in and of itself is the reason that we're honoring Russell today. And so many other people have done that. We've uh, awarded a number of uh, high school diplomas since 2005 um, to service members from uh, World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. And in our audience today, we have representatives uh, of World War II, which was Russell. Would my Korean War veterans stand up and remain standing? Well.
Would my Vietnam veterans and era veterans please stand? John, stand up. Okay, and then we have our, um, our representatives, uh, Tex Washburn, who served in Afghanistan um, during the current war. So these represent, and I'm also a Vietnam veteran. But as you see, Walter stayed standing up during the uh, Vietnam and the Korean War. He was uh, 27 years in the military and fought in both of those wars. Thank you very much. Peter, stand up. Peter, when were you in service? There you go. Peacetime veteran. I keep forgetting Peter. He lives right down the street from me. So this is Peter. Thank you. Paul, thank you very much. To our audience, wonderful job today. Um, thank you so very much.